You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. This week on The Biz, the video sales soap opera series two, and on today's show, leadership development with co-host and co-creator of Selling Technologies, Michael Mayonardi. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant. We're broadcasting to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And day two with us, the co-creator, and I mean designer of this entire package called Amanda. And today we're featuring part of Amanda called Family Matters. All this week, Michael Mayonardi. Hey, Steve, Michael. how are you? I'm, I'm great. Listen, we're going to get some traffic off a lot of these because people are into video. And we're trying to use different tactics Think about this, less than 1% of the entire field force is online on video. It's hard to believe really, given the power of the medium. Now the one thing about video that a producer really should be aware of is, it is a powerful medium, so you have to be careful and very prudent on how you use it. Mm -hmm. A lot of these videos though have seen the back, I would say the back office of compliance already. I mean, you guys have one, ran this through several BDs, broker-dealers. Yeah, the good thing is uh, the way we approached it, having a good bit of knowledge and uh, inside the insurance industry already, we knew when we developed this stuff it would have to you know, go through the compliance departments and we've been approved in every department because frankly, there is no discussion of an insurance product or mm -hmm. financial services in the programs. I love how what we're doing is you're focusing on critical matters things that really happen in daily life. Everyday life is featured in this, and especially when you're talking about closely held family-owned businesses. I mean, this is kind of like the mantra of Family Matters. And I really think that sometimes we get so deep in the weeds, we forget about the basic concept. What opens up? What's our first contact? What should we do as a prime first introduction? Here's something that, here's something that the advisor should keep in mind. An individual, and especially in the business owner market, they will only fix big problems. So what the advisor has to do is quickly focus them on, there is a big problem here, who's it going to affect and who's it going to involve? And these videos actually capture and distill this down into that kind of thinking. This is part of the process. This is exactly what the video does. It allows the advisor, without saying much of anything, mm -hmm. to focus the business owner on a big problem. Now, now, all these videos are done by professional actors, right? I mean, this is really pro. Everything is casted, I, again, taking on all the industry knowledge and things we've done over the 30-some years, everything's professionally casted and really needs to ring true. It can't really look you know, like it's not genuine. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the idea of doing something professional at a place where a business owner is going to watch this. He's going to see the same quality that he's going to see on television, online, with high quality video. They're going to see things like this and be able to say, I get that and I really appreciate the way it's been formatted. Well, the other thing is it's essentially holding a mirror up to the business owner and saying, is this you? Do mm -hmm. you see yourself in this scenario? Well, in this scenario, we're talking about leadership development. Are the children really ready to take over from dad? I mean, this is one of those big, if the kids think they are, maybe dad doesn't think they are. And this is the quandary that we face on, I, I really I hate to say it, on a, I have to say easily 50% of all our buy-sell agreements within the family, are the children ready to take over? And the quandary for the parents generally are, I don't think they are, and that becomes a family matter. Let's watch this clip. What makes you think Dad would even consider an idea like that? Because it's a good idea. Having you relocate to Chicago and opening the new office is not a good idea. Your experience is limited at best. Jen, can I remind you I do have an MBA and I've experienced at another company before I came here. My background is a lot broader than yours. Working for a pharmaceutical company for four years and having an MBA does not qualify you for a leadership position. Well, who's more qualified here than me? Off the bat, I am. Oh, please, Jen. What do you mean, oh, please, Jen? I've worked here four years longer than you have. So, Henry from Shipping has been here for 20 years. That doesn't make him capable of running the company. We're not talking about tenure alone, Michael. I have worked for this company for 16 years. I've worked more closely with Dad than anyone in this company. I know exactly how he thinks. Jennifer, what this company needs is new ideas, not just a continuation of the old ones. I say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, so I suppose being older and having more oh, experience has no... Oh, here we go, the oldest son argument. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1950s. Dad. Let me make myself very clear. 
Both of you are quite fortunate to be employed by this company. So what makes either one of you think you're qualified to run it? I don't know if that went well for the kids. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't know if that went well. <laughs> well, here's the issue around that. Think about the business owner's perspective. Probably at some juncture, his exit strategy is tied in part to the ongoing su success of the company. Ultimately, the kids are going to run the company? Really, how's that going to go for the business owner? Well, when we come back, we'll find out. We're gonna talk about leadership development, watch another powerful video that's a sequel to this, and you can try Family Matters absolutely free for 30 days at www.familymatters.bz forward slash the biz. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant with Michael Mayanardi. And remember, you can order today's materials at thebiz.tv. And while you're out there, click on the background technician icon on the Biz blog for their 30-day free trial offer for the best needs analysis and education material and addresses almost every financial pl planning scenario. And just before you move forward with anything you ever hear on our show, always consult your tax advisor or legal counsel as well as your broker-dealer compliance officer if you're so FINRA licensed. We're talking with Michael Marinardi on leadership development. Now, that first, you know, I, I didn't expect the actual sequel to turn out like this. But in this sequel, remember, there's three different options that could have occurred. We just chose this one for the show because it just happens to be the one that happens most of the time. We'll see what happens here. And you watch that. The father decides to sell the company because he's in such a quandary about what to do with the kids. He doesn't know what to do. So I guess the ultimate scenario and the best thing for him and the wife is to just sell the business. Mm -hmm. I think you have to think about this uh, because he's looking at his, their ability for that business to go on because that's how he's going to get paid in the buyout. And so he's looking at, should I let the new owners just come in and take it over or should I let my kids do it? And that could affect the way I live for the rest of my life. And he had to make a big call. Now, but part of this, I mean, not to be a little redemptive for the kids here, part of this though is part of this buyout was that the kids had a guaranteed contract for X amount of years. Right, but think about that from the kids' perspective. They say this is their life. So what does that do for the audience? If you're doing this presentation in person and you show this to the family, who's going to be more uncomfortable in the room and how well does that get the conversation started so the advisor knows mm -hmm. how to help them? It's interesting that generally most of the time we get involved in buy-sell agreements where the owners and the buyers are going to become earnest about the transaction is after somebody's died or somebody's become disabled and the whole thing's a mess. We always are picking it up from the point of view of a crisis. What this does is preemptively comes in front of the entire sale and says, before this happens, here is what happens on a daily basis. Here's a little video clip on why this works and what this will do. Does it evoke emotion? I say, yes, it does. And does it evoke feelings? These are the real feelings and emotions that a balance sheet will never touch, that a buy-sell agreement written by an attorney is not going to address. We have to start thinking about opening and closing cases about real life situations that evoke feelings. And by the way, it's those feelings that actually trigger motivation for clients. Absolutely, well think about that. The father did that and the kids didn't even know it. Mm. So from again, it becomes an issue where things are going on in the family, but in the business mm -hmm. that he is not even sharing with them and they have an integral role in that business. Well, here's the clip on kind of the resolve. I don't know if it's a res resolution, but here's what happened on this clip. 
I just can't explain how difficult the two of you and, and your sibling rivalry have made things for your mother and me. Dad, it isn't so much sibling rivalry as it has major differences in how the company should be run. Oh? So now we're unhappy about how the company is being run? No, not now, but sooner or later, either Jennifer's going to be running the company or I am. And when that... Uh, that's incorrect, Michael. In fact, it's not going to be either one of you. Well, this certainly comes as a surprise. Dad, I don't understand. As you both know, your mother and I have been giving serious thought about retirement. But I just can't see how I can fund retirement without selling the company. Dad, you're not seriously considering selling the business. Yes, I am. I don't believe this. It, it solves a number of problems. Neither one of you is ready to take over the company, and frankly, I don't know how I would decide which of you would run it anyway. Dad, I'm shocked. The business has been our life. As part of any agreement of sale, I would make sure that both of you and Peter uh, would receive a three-year employment contract uh, from the new owners at your present salary levels. I think that's fair to everybody, including your mother and me. When I first saw this video, I was not ready for that actual sequel to come on. I didn't think the father was going to sell behind their back. Right, well, it gets me back to that common point. Who made a, who really feels good about that conversation? Do the kids? Obviously not. Does the father? Well, he says it fixes something, but hmm. I don't think he's 100% comfortable with it. Well, I don't know how comfortable it will be at the next Thanksgiving dinner. Well, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's our show for today. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or email me, steve at thebiz.tv. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. You've been in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.